so close with me. Hey guys, I'm Laura. And I'm Gary. And we're the Boozy Broads. Welcome back to Clues and Cocktails. Today we're going to be playing Nancy Drew and the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. To honor the cold Canadian setting, today we're drinking a drink called a Frosty Flurry. A drink we had literally never heard of until a few days ago. <laughs> if you're curious about this drink or any of the other drinks we've made thus far, check us out on Instagram and we'll be under our highlights. Hashtag Cocktail of the Game. Disclaimer, this is not a walkthrough. If you're looking for that, go elsewhere. We've got our cocktails, we're ready to sled in, skate in, Slide in. I'll be about solve some mysteries. <laughs> it's gonna be around mysterious. I can't promise it's gonna be very productive. For some reason, there's no music. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about oh, a person by their voice, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my <laughs> room. As you can on. see, I keep no, it pretty time, neat. This was of course, I don't spend that much walk. time and in here. I always seem to be oh, off solving yeah, mysteries. This is like, this is the anyway, point here's really my center of operations, yes, my desk. desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. No. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery purpose. solving business. Yeah, and be sure to check out my scrapbook. So I put memorabilia <laughs> from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty they dangerous, the and the time is really we're scary. Like, we're I don't say anything about that to my dad, thing. okay? Oh, it's it's always a bit mean, enough just, as it is. And whatever you do, like, you read what's in the file really called really Case File. You know that will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Can you click the lightness? Oh, you can. So there's certain things it doesn't let you click. Okay. So they don't let you turn on and off the light while she's talking. Like that was rude. Yeah. Like, why couldn't you let me do that? We don't really need to look at the book. It'll be the same two games. Yeah, that, that we just played. played. So how to be a detective? I really like to open the book every time and then never look at what's new. Yeah. Even though, as we mentioned, the whole interface. Is yeah. Right now. We have. It's like more. It's, it doesn't go around the entire screen. No, it's a which lot lost time of eager either. But yeah, it's sleeker and it just doesn't take up as much of the yeah. real estate of the gameplay, which is really nice. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's good. It says it's, it's 107 in the game. It's not 107. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's check out what we're doing here. Case file. Okay. Her assignment: head to the Icicle Creek Lodge, a small guest lodge deep in the Canadian. Rockies of Alberta, Canada. Of course, because where else would they do a game? It's the, only, it's the most exciting place in Canada. <laughs> right? oh, actually, though. Yeah. I love how they do the Canadian Rockies of Alberta, Canada. <laughs> like, it's in Canada. Yeah. Thank you. We get it. We get you. it. <laughs> and try to figure out why so many accents. That's like if they did the American Hawaii of America. Like in the last yeah. game, like it just wouldn't. You'd be like, hey. The American Hawaii. Um, so <laughs> it is very true. It's so true. I even find that, like, Americans, whenever they're talking about going to Canada, they'll be like, I went to Toronto, Canada the other day, or like something. Like, where else do you know of a Toronto? Instead of like, you know, if, if we're talking like, oh, I went to San Francisco, California. It's like, why aren't you saying you're to you're Toronto, like, Ontario? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. Because if we go anywhere in the States, we're like, we, we went to California, or we went yeah. to Florida. Like, we don't say, went to Florida, America. <laughs> exactly. <the other> day. <laughs> don't know what the double standard is with that, but... Whatever, it's yeah, fine. It's, it's kind of complex. Anyway, here so we go. So going to the Canadian Rockies of Alberta, Canada, <laughs> and trying to figure out why so many accidents have been happening there. The woman who runs the lodge, Chantal Moik, Moik who? Moik? Moik? Called me out of the blue, <laughs> saying that Bet and Ed Raleigh from Shana Ranch had oh, recommended yeah. me. She sounded so desperate that I couldn't refuse. She said she was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers, so her handyman, Ollie Randall, will pick me up at the airport. She told me it's been really cold and snowy there and that I should pack accordingly. And then she said something about a wolf. The connection was getting really bad and I could barely hear her, but I'm pretty sure she used the word prowling or was wow. it howling along with dangerous and be careful. <laughs> Accidents are one thing, but wild animals. I hope I know what I'm getting into. I don't know. This is really the only one too that really focuses on an animal, right? Yeah, well, the dolphin. The dolphin. In Deception Island. And Shadow Ranch, like the horse, the shiny horse. Never mind. Horse. It doesn't ever mind. So there are some animals in this one in the future case. And this one, there's a wolf. Clearly, I've forgotten. <laughs> but you know, it's the only one that has wolf in the name. Of That's the true. Game. Or Shad an animal in the name. Oh, I was going to say Shadow Ranch. No, it doesn't. There's not multiple games that have wolf in the name? Weird. No, wow. So and there's a beast of Blackboard Manor. Mm, true. Is a beast an animal? It could be considered an animal. Werewolves. Yeah. That's true. Half half animal, half human. This is true. Alright, let's let's fly to Canada. Let's fly to Canada. 
we'll go with senior, senior. even though we're gonna regret it because this is a hard this is and a long game. Probably like one of the hardest games. We're really in it for the long haul on yeah. this one. We started earlier than we normally do. We're ready to just yeah. We made a punch bowl of liquor so we don't have to keep <laughs> making drinks. We're just ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's Here do we, it. There we go. Yay. Fly to Canada. Well, that'd be fair, when Chantal like, you know, told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little stitch. girl, Freddie. Thank you. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, awesome. you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her There's mind. There's one guy in the lodge that has the worst Canadian accent ever, and the rest of them are okay. need for you to tell her I said okay. that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her so and her lawyers a real hard here. time. Oh. Left running the lodge up to me. Not. Which is why Maybe I'm ever. not real crazy okay. about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon Ooh. enough. What was that? What? I don't remember this. That's ridiculous. A wolf did that? And an explosion happened. They're looting at a wolf. Explodes. <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay, it was a bunkhouse and nobody was in it. Okay, that's good. That's where Elsa and Becky but that's not what they were. I bet you that it's a good thing they quit after true. all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. Like it. Yeah. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole this chain of daddy is so I don't think I'm going to admit to him that I can't stand running him one yet again. Gross. Besides, Ew. Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of oh, this. Oh, you know it, girl. Don't you, Nancy? <laughs> well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. You want to be my maid? Oh, that would give me access to everyone's starts. room, and I could question people without making them overly yeah, suspicious. Yes, no one knows why we're there. Right. Yeah. Does even he? All right, you're my new maid. Oh, he must, because he's here for the conversation. Oh, he's the only one that knows. You're my new you're maid, cook. you cook. That we have so many chores every morning. Oh, the cooking is fun. The cooking is so much fun. fun. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, I think that's a fine oh, girl. idea, Girl, at least she now never gets any money for any of these trips. So I want both of you to make sure that the forecasts we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic caliber cross country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flare he makes the watch is just what Yanni I need Volstaya. to attract the European jet setting crowd. I'm going to be yeah. pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. Yeah. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Oh. Well, do whatever you have to, Ollie. Oh, and Nancy, I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Tino Balducci? Tino I got Balducci. Oh, yeah. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Oh, Come no. In. Can we not work with Tino, Tino Balducci? <laughs> yeah. I'll get you a master key Gross. and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. I feel like the, the first time I played this, I didn't clue it because I had never played last year. Oh. I, I was just like, oh, what's wrong with that? That's where playing them in order helps because you're yeah. like, oh, we just saw him. Oh, look, we can see what we're wearing. We have socks and a button down shirt and nothing that else. <laughs> no mom jeans for Nancy. She's going commando. <laughs> Oh, right. maybe, they're like, maybe it's implied that she's wearing pants, but why can't we show? Oh, but why is it not implied that she's wearing, wearing socks? socks? Like, I feel like of all things to show. <laughs> it's very true. This is very yeah, Nancy just yeah. walking around in her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is so like, much more comfortable solving mysteries this way. Yeah. <laughs> I love lodge settings it's so much. so nice. This is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Ooh. Okay, we have a teddy bear. 
out here, so I'll probably This must be the key Ollie said he'd oh, leave for me. Fish, fish. And here's all the rooms that each of the guests are in. Should I write them down? I think we take... And this we must be a list of which guest is in what room. We're in the quell quell That'll room. come in handy. Cool, cool. We're cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool in the quell oh, well. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Employee instructions. Maid duties. Daily cleaning. Pick up laundry bag at the front desk. Available after 4... 5.45 a.m. Enter and clean oh, wow. only those rooms displaying the housekeeping sign. Oh, okay. Make the bed. Remove used towels and washcloths. All rooms displaying the housekeeping sign must be cleaned no later than noon. When finished, drop the laundry That's bag. That's why there's a time. <laughs> Y'all wrap. At the top of the stairs by the restroom. Okay. <laughs> Skating pond maintenance. No. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm pond here. Pond must be shoveled after every snowfall. Warning, some sections of ice will be very thin due to hot spring activity. Pay close attention to the color of the ice and only shovel off those areas which are safe to skate on. The shade of the ice will reveal how many adjacent ice grids have dangerously thin ice. Be sure to mark these areas with an orange safety cone and to never step on one. So this is like the most solid to the... Yeah, that's just water. <laughs> that, that is just the sea. Yeah, you know? well, but the lake, which is probably why is going just like thing. vibrant purple come before like a nice pale blue? <laughs> <though? Yeah. laughs> you got indigo. You got violet. Yeah. Um, oh, here's a example of a shoveled snow pond. So this color means there are three patches of thin ice nearby. Oh, so that's what the numbers meant. Report oh. all avalanches. Well, we'll figure it out later. This the <laughs> avalanche patrol. All out employees should remember that avalanches are a constant danger in this area. To avoid triggering an avalanche, not make loud noises when in the back country. Always wear snowshoes when walking on snow that is potentially unstable. Report all avalanches or conditions conductive to avalanches. To the avalanche patrol. Um, can I not go back up? Uh, no, maybe not. Criminal activity. Report any and all criminal activity to the sheriff. Probably Employees better. should remember that heat and moisture sometimes cause the door of the sauna <gasps> to stick and should periodically check to make sure... Is that going to be like a, like someone locks us in the sauna or something? Maybe. Oh my god. It's been a long time since I played this and I never it's finished it, so... It's been a long time. Yeah. Um, no guests are stuck inside. Cooking, breakfast is served. We're going to have to remember this. Maybe write this down. Because I skipped the one skating thing. Um, the numbers on the So bottom. that's the numbers. Okay, so... Like, this color means there's three patches of thin ice nearby. This color means that there is one patch of thin ice nearby. Mm. So you end up, like, putting pylons where you think that there will be the thin ice. Hopefully we only have to do this once. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure we only have to do it once. Anyway, so we have that. We have a teddy bear. We have an alarm for when we go to bed. That clock would bother the crap it's out of me so sleeping. so loud. Oh, oh we have a for this. Uh, Could be the oh and luggage. We have for luggage. So Nancy, why don't you put some pants on? <laughs> we can't even. We can't. Okay, well we can even look in it. So that's that's fine. amazing. Um, so that's where our towels are gonna go. That's fine. Can I not look in the other area of the room? Do I have to go? Okay, we can't look at that side. Okay. okay. So I don't think we're supposed to necessarily. Oh. Do we start now? I guess we can't, right? Because yeah, or. Let's say cleaning is required or not required. I think that means cleaning is required. Well, we don't have the bag yet, so let's go downstairs to get the bag. Okay, yeah, I feel like it starts the next day. How I feel do? like it does too, but then if we get yelled at and sent home. This is interesting. Yelled at and sent home on the first day. Cold warning. Temperatures can be extreme and dangerous. Check the lobby for cold weather warnings and remember to bundle up. There's no music. Agency. Yeah, where it's is weird. the music? I hate that there's not any right now. It's like, it, it makes, makes it more eerie. Yeah, it does. This is going to shower first and foremost. Maybe, oh, she's, I was like, maybe she'll put on pants now. And this is where we put the... This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the yes. rooms. Because, yeah, we... Oh. This is where I dump the laundry bag. <laughs> I was going to try to close it. Like uh, a proper, a proper lady. Like a good person. Like a book pet, get this. Um, yeah, we can't even serve breakfast because it's too late to serve breakfast. So, yeah, I don't really get when the duties begin. But that's fine. So here's oh, our map. So the lodge, avalanche ridge, icicle lake, bunkhouse that blew up, skating pond, the needle, needle chicken needle. ridge, skookum ridge. Oh, oh skookum pond. Skookum ridge, icicle creek. Wow. Cool. Uh, let's go to the We're desk area. All oh, is there? Oh, a clue. January 15th, Chantel. This is my formal notice of resignation. Oh, okay. So this was the maid or the cook, one or, one or the other. Elsa Sibylhoff. Sibylhoff. That's even more fun to say. That is very fun. Sibylhoff. 
Simba. So yeah, one of them, so obviously there's all these accidents happening here and people are starting to resign mm. because of all, everything that's going down. So you have the sheriff, the hospital, Tino, and Chantel that we can call. Oh wow, well, I guess, do we not have our, we don't have, yeah, do we not have like Ned or Bess and George? We are. I'd be surprised. Okay, so we also have all the instructions here as well. If we oh, go back good. To the okay, cool. Good to know. We've got oh a guest or a lodge guest register. So there's Carl, Yanni. Oh, it's the same kind of thing. Whoever, yeah, this is. But we keep it with us, right? Or do we leave it at the? In the bedroom? Yeah, we have the thing for what room everybody's in. Oh. oh here. So green is it safe to go outside? Yellow caution, chance of hypothermia. Orange danger, high risk. Red very high risk. Okay. Within seconds. <gasps> Whoa. This we can kind of look at later. There's a there information for birding. Great. Which we maybe will and fishing. Later. And fishing. We will have to do some fishing. Great. Because Nancy Drew games love to make you fish. I don't really know what it and is. And bird watch it. apparently. Yeah, fish, bird watch. Oh, Ooh, lots, lots of, of so here's the laundry. Lots pack. of crumpled pic like pictures. Lots of crumpled papers. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Darling Elsa, remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Is that the maid or the cook? One of the maid, maid. Or the cook. The maid. The maid. Remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well, that was true. But what's even truer to that is that I am going to love you forever. Sometimes thinking about forever makes me dizzy. Like when I start thinking about the sky and how it doesn't stop at the moon or the sun or even the Milky Way, but just keeps going and going and going. But when I think about you, forever seems totally cool because it's one thing to just keep going and going and going by yourself, but to keep going and going and going with someone, that's awesome. Bring me back as soon as you get this. I can't wait to see you next week. Love forever, L. Okay. Who's L? Have we met an L? Looks like Elsa was having major oh. boyfriend Dear problems. Elsa, you said in your letter that you love me forever back, but if that's true, why'd you put off coming here to see me? When I read you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it just felt like somebody had walked up and stabbed me through the heart. Oh my god! You get real so dramatic. Lodge you work at. You spend way, way, way more time there than you do with me, and I don't like it one bit. I can't help myself. I'm so in love with you, it's getting hard to see straight, and that's the truest thing I've ever told you. Come see me next week. Totally and completely yours. Come see me next week. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's why she left because this boyfriend is like being so aggressive to her. Honestly. Dear Elsa, oh, this is written in red. <gasps> this oh, time, no. when I read in your letter saying you weren't coming, I didn't get sad. I got mad. Oh, I can't my gosh. You've been working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady whose name I can't even pronounce is more important than spending time with me. What, Chantel? Yeah. If I didn't love you so much, probably the last name, oh. I'd tell you to go take a flying leap, but since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else, like maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the box you stored in my garage and dump them down the disposal. Or maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. I don't know how else to make you understand that I love you with all my heart and I always will. That is so Dude, bad. That's aggressive. Like, that's, yeah, borderline abusive. Yeah, we don't... We don't support that. We don't support all. that at all. Support Elsa. Elsa. Oh, that just makes me feel bad for Elsa. I know. Dang. Anything else we can see here? Okay. Well, let's go upstairs because we have the laundry bag and just see if we can clean the rooms just in case. I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> it is before noon, so we are fine. Sure. Um, so probably just the ones with the cleaning signs. So, which we can, like, we don't even know whose room is whose yet, because I didn't really look at what the name outside it was, is. I think that was Chinook, wasn't it? Oh, this is probably the ski guy, I would assume, but with this. Went to sports. Um, World Championship venue remains a mystery. They don't know where. Oh, it will take place. Oh, it's common knowledge it's going to take place in Alberta. But exactly where in Alberta is currently the sport's best kept secret. So that would explain why the Olympian is out in Alberta oh. skiing around because he's probably trying to prepare for if the Olympics were to take and place there. there. Yeah. That would make sense. Next month in winter sports. Cool. Well, Love some sports. So that's that a weird way to hang towels. Yeah. Sorry. But it already seems to be made, so we should have to do that. Yeah, true. Love that. Ina. Oh, that one's definitely not made. Yeah, that we're gonna have to do. Probably gonna have to open that. As I wish clean. cleaning was this easy. I know. <laughs> that seems so sad. Great. <laughs> Bedding. Um, okay. Oh, this is the the university student guy. I forget mm. his name. You meet him downstairs. He has a book about wolves, *The Call of the Wild* by Jack London. Cool. And his university little binder thingy. Is there anything else we can? Oh, down here. Oh. He is probably an art major. Of oh wow! Some oil paints, some, and like some... a palette knife and paint brushes. Nice. Oh, it also it also looks like he uh, like does some pottery. Look at those wow. tools. Wow! Very cool. Very artistic. Very cool. I'll take your some towels. blue towels. Got him, dude. Okay. Um, just put away. All right. So now we got pish pish. Oh, pish pish. 
Pish Pish Posh. Yeah, I called it Pish Posh. Pish Posh. That one, huh? <laughs> made. Made. Bed. Made. Nancy, you're magic. Joms. Joms. Structural we have joms engineering. Joms. Geology. Great. Um, large machinery safety protocols. Okay, so whoever this person is is boring. Um, <laughs> Operates heavy machinery <laughs> equals boring. Like drums. Yeah, um, like drums. The al al ali, al ali. That one's harder to say. It doesn't roll off the tongue. No. Al ali, al ali. Okay. Oh. Oh, they oh, also have orange towels. Nice. Suspicious. <laughs> Suspicious. Oh, and this person who uh, we have to check which room is the al ali because who has a magazine about. The Olympic skier. Uh, Guadalupe Camolo. Guadalupe Camillo. Camillo. Um, has a magazine about Yanni Volkstaya for some Oh! Um, so she's underlined some things in this article. Apparently, this guy f refuses to lose. Volkstaya oh. hates to lose. I expected to win, and I always did. Knowing your enemy is the surest way to defeat him. Oh, I wonder if my competitors better than I know myself. I think Guadalupe is a bird watcher, so I don't really think she's gonna ski. <laughs> well, maybe because he's skiing so much, he's like, he's like, scaring off the birds. Maybe. maybe. I mean, I don't maybe remember she it doesn't all like him for that reason. Truly, the only thing I remember in this is cooking. So. Which is a very good part of the game. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very fun part. Some believe he studies his competitors so he can eliminate them. Okay, so she's mm. underlined everything that could possibly make this guy sound very competitive yeah. and kind of aggressive. Biathlon Bob. Aww. Sweet. Okay, so interesting. Interesting. Okay. We've got a little peek into our guest before we've even met. A tiny him. bit, yeah. We, we like to do that. I'll put the laundry bag down here. Right and here. then what time? Uh, noon until 1 p.m. is lunch. lunch. Okay, so we're crazy. Now. We can go maybe start. There is no a lot of time to actually like. No. Search around. It's stressful. Like, you gotta go start doing stuff. Oh. What is this? So this might be oh. important. Later. I'll write this down. So, from like bottom left up and over. That's probably a code for something. Yeah. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. Mm -hmm. But Bone's not there. Wonder what happened to it. Oh no. That's, is that gonna be used as a weapon? <laughs> Oh, a trusty lock has been in the past. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we can possibly get these old snowshoes. They were owned and used by Trapper Dan in the early 1900s. Well, we can, oh yeah. So we see the important take, historical figure in this one is Trapper Dan. So. Yeah, we just like take the vintage snowshoes that... Yeah. Like, that's where it's hard snowy out there. I'm going to take this artifact. Yeah, so exactly. This <laughs> so we got some photos. Uh, we don't have to read all of these, yeah. but this is like... This, the setting of where the lodge used to be, or is now right. what it yeah. used to be. Uh, this is Trapper Dan. Who never married. He never married. Oh, he often entertains celebrities at the lodge, including Teddy Roosevelt, Lizzie, Lizzie Applegate. Go back to Message in a Hot yeah. Frederick Banting, Ernest Hemingway, and Marie Curie. Wow, Curry. that's, that's cool. pretty good oh. array of people. Oh. Trapper Dan's Needle. He built this monument not far from the lodge. We saw that on the map. We Why did. It? it remains a mystery, so we can probably go see it. There's no picture of it for some reason. There's no picture of it. another one as well. So Trapper Dan, he constructed the Ice Skull Creek Lodge in 1894. Oh, this is oh. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So it was a hunting lodge until Chantel assumed ownership in 2006. Mm, cool. Um, he had a pig. Trapper Dan had a pet pig, Mary. Was famous throughout North Cute. Western. Cute. Cute. So he trapped all kinds of different animals. Um, oh, Lizzie up there. Oh, cool. And it's uh, the same okay. photo, too. Wow. Uh, oh. So Trepidan added hidden chambers, passageways, and hard to open locks to the lodge to facilitate his smuggling operation. Wow. So he smuggled pelts of animals. Whoa. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100 year history. Yeah. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are somebody, missing. Yeah, it's like somebody that stayed True. at the lodge. Yeah. Um, okay. So this area is very pretty. I love this, like... It's so... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mabel. Hi. You want to join us? join us? She scared the crap out of me. <laughs> the fireplace is so pretty. Now we have a bit of music. Um, food poisoning, Wolf Plague, Icicle Creek Lodge. So four people were forced to check out early from the Icicle Creek Lodge after becoming violently ill. 
Um, so wow. all of these people were admitted to Pineville Hospital early. We probably called the hospital maybe to ask about it. True. Early yesterday morning, we suspected food poisoning. Lab tests performed on food samples removed from the lodge confirmed the presence of salmonella bacteria in the potato salad, which oh. all four had consumed. They're expected to make a full recovery. The owner of the lodge, Chantal, was at a loss to explain how the potato salad became contaminated. The same ingredients used to make the potato salad were used in other dishes without any of the other guests becoming sick, she said. Moreover, Becky assures me that the potato salad was never left sitting out at room temperature, and she should know she was my cook. None of the four victims, including Stills, <laughs> plan to return to the lodge upon their release from the hospital. If you ask me, the lodge is jinxed, Stills said. Miss, whatever, must better give up trying to turn the lodge into some kind of hoity toity spa while she still can. First the wolf now gets some leaving and she should too. Stills is referring to the lone wolf which has been spotted several times within the past week in the Ice School Creek drainage. Because ranchers in the area have reported no increase in livestock pred predation, authorities are urging hunters not to go after the wolf, contending they would pose a greater danger to visitors to the back country than the wolf does. Okay. okay, so we know there's other strange things happening. Yes. Oh, oh hi right. guys. This is the guy with the awful Canadian accent. This is the university student guy. Gotcha. This is probably the guy that likes jobs and machinery. Oh, probably. Well, hello there. You See? must be the new maid Ollie told us about. No one can talk. Maybe this like a select few. Like in the East What's Coast. Her name again? East Coast talk again. Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Nancy. Well, Lou here is a grad <laughs> student. Art Ooh, major of all things. You're probably going to need a Art, jackhammer yes. and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? <laughs> oh my god, this is so forced. That's hilarious. Have you two been at the lodge for a while? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty the worst darn fun. Game in the I've been whipping catalog. his tail ever it's since. Terrible. It's so hard. <laughs> The is this the first time you've been to the lodge? Yeah. Yep, sure is. Like the lodge I came for beautiful. the ice fishing. Yeah. Of course, knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here? Bad luck, that's all. No, the only thing that bothers me about this place is the wolf. They should for get rid reason. of it, and the sooner the better. They didn't put up with wolves prowling around this place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with mm. them now. Yeah, what are you, cool. Little yeah. Red Riding Hood? That wolf's not hurting anybody. Okay, so this guy likes People animals. should just leave it alone. True. You'll be singing a different tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. Not gonna happen, dude. Not gonna happen, Trust me, nerd. if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. <laughs> Hey, I know what you can do. Like these like unlikely Shuffle the friends. Snow off the yeah, skating pond it's so we can sweet. do some speed skating. Speed Lou here skating. thinks he's faster oh, than me. Off the You're pond. like ancient. Uh. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before uh, you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it okay. done. Oh my gosh. Okay, kiddo. Well, oh, can we like talk to Lou specifically? Like I or is it both of them that... Oh, we can. You're supposed to be shoveling oh. snow off Oh, but he won't talk to me until I shovel off snow off. Right. right. First puzzle, I'm assuming. Yeah. But I feel like we should, like, meet all the people here yeah. until, like, noon, try to cook lunch, yeah. and then go do the skating pond. Oh, tall. oh, shoot. So this, I don't think we know how to solve this yet. Maybe we have to, like, make them all the same thing. Maybe pigs because his pet pig? Maybe. I'm just, like, making a wolf's... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that was what it was. And you just get it. That would be nice. Oh. Some of them turn by themselves and some of them turn with other ones. Yeah. Oh. It's, no, so it's not wolves. So maybe we, but maybe we also don't know what we're supposed to be turning it to yet. I, I don't That's know. That's true. Maybe we could just keep trying different stuff. <laughs> but I will also be here forever doing this. Oh, and that was a pig. Yeah. Why'd you eat the pig? So maybe we can do something further with this later maybe. on. Maybe. Or whatever we're supposed to get isn't in it. Uh, let's go down to the basement. Mm -hmm. I think that's where the other people are. Tastes like blue. Yeah, it does taste like It's very yummy. It is. Kind of like sour, but in a good way, because it kind of like, it's not overly sweet. It's like sour blue raspberry. Here's the Olympic skier. Oh, no. <laughs> um, is that's how I love wrong? to be greeted. Yeah, exactly. No, you are what is what? wrong. Just 
Bertolt said there would be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my train. Yet what stands before me, I'm a <laughs> guest. Don't you no, no, eat? I'm not a guest. I'm yeah, Nancy Drew, the new that. maid. And the new cook. Forgive me. Allow me <laughs> yes, to start please. over. Yeah. I am Yanni Vokstaya. I am here to train Wolf, for yeah. the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. Cool. I spend my days doing interval work, drills and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In sport. fact, so under like... no circumstances are you to use or your key to let anyone into strength. my room. Yeah, but my competitors are constantly <laughs> spying on trying to steal my techniques. Well, once can go pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, me cannot go very yeah. fast. <laughs> Did it once, fell a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You get like a slight hill and you're like, oh, uh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> into the snowbank. Yeah. I was not prepared. <laughs> he says, under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, ah. trying to steal their techniques. But who else is competing? You think someone's no spying on you way are. out here? One can never be too careful, can so know this. Careful. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me, and it will not be a pleasant I, one. I feel like it won't be. You're kind of rude. Yeah. You're kind of intimidating. Have you ever seen the wolf Eddie. while you were out training? Conversation no, we have for is which I'm very grateful. No. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. So he hasn't seen the wolf yet, and he believes that it'll make you blind if you see one. Um, Not facts. You don't really yeah, believe exactly. that, do you? They're creatures of infinite We've been to the zoo. And that is all and I'm, I'm going to say yet. on the matter. I've seen coyotes. They've looked at me. I hear that a major cross-country kind of skiing competition yeah. may be held in this area There's in a couple of years. Yeah. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. <laughs> Hi, Maple. Hi, he back? She doesn't look very happy. I also hear that you can be pretty mm -hmm. imaginative when it comes to gaining an edge on your competition. My competitors will stop at nothing this to defeat me. I am forced to seek oh, yeah. out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country, no but I have no choice. Okay. You're busy, Bye. so I'll let you go. Come back Are you anytime. Sure? He says that so pleasantly. Yeah. Like, come back anytime. Yeah. It's like, you just, we have, like, not that great of a conversation. Like, why? Yeah. Oh, it feels wonderful. Yeah, because you're in there and just your underwear. Your underwear and socks <laughs> and your shirt. Okay, I feel like Nancy's gonna go in there, see something like strange happen, and someone's gonna lock her in. That's my like. It's generally what the game's like. Yeah. Especially <laughs> because we have like instructions, and like it's like telling you how to like get out if mm -hmm. that happens, right? I feel like the game that's like setting you up. Yeah, why well, would it be in the instruction manual if you're not gonna do it? Mm -hmm. uh, this just keeps getting better. Cause it's so I'm just trying now. to get the lay yeah. of the land, or the lay of the lodge in this case. Well, this is my workshop. I'm building something that's gonna solve all mm. our problems. Oh, wolf maybe trap. it's his room. One Machinery. that'll finish off that thing out oh, that there once be. and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was a okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck, and something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Make a wolf trap? Don't kill it. Yeah. Why do you say that? Yesterday I went looking for it. Like, I tracked it and finally found it. Sitting across the creek, the creek, not 20 yards away Again, from me, just staring so at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. The Easiest my shot I've ever taken in my life. They sound the and same I missed. As so I fired so again, good. and I missed, and then I missed again, and again. And all the while it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up. Walked toward the brush just as calm mm -hmm. as could be, and so disappeared. It's to bullets. Wild animals yeah. just don't act like that. And I just don't miss True, it. animals would run away There's if you were shooting at them. There's something weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I yeah. get rid of it. <laughs> so maybe we should just find something else to talk yeah. about. You met my little girl yet? No, no but you mentioned is that her name is Freddy? Yeah. yeah, we can't really talk Spends to her, most of her time she just outside. helps with snowballs. Oh, that's like a puzzle. You have to like, like, get her back and everything, right? She just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. Yeah, she's something. Can you tell me more about the accidents mm. that have been happening around here? Nope. Okay, sure thanks. Can. So you're a lot of help. Okay. <laughs> but I kind of need to know. <laughs> yeah. Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't Please? talk about them. 
supposed to direct all questions okay, to her. Okay, but you know that she hired Sorry. Neighbor to solve a mystery. Like yeah, that. he knows this. Whatever, sir. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just what like I'm doing now. What about everything we've been through? Have you ever been in the what guest lodge trust? business before? You know, I've never I tried been my hand at it once. I'm Long story me. short, didn't work out. <laughs> but I've learned a whole part. lot well, since then. I could make it work now. <laughs> Just need to find I'm the right property, leave, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. What? Um, I've learned a lot since then. I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands on enough cash. Here's Nancy to be insensitive again. Does your wife, Frank, Freddie's mom, does she live here too? Like, yeah. what if he's divorced? What if he's widowed? Like, what? just don't ask these things. Yeah. But I'm gonna does do your it wife, anyway. Freddie's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she okay. does, but in the winter she goes uh, south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her I mean, real sensitive to cold. Uh, Freddie would like to go with her. Like, I would love to be able to say that and be like, sorry, sorry I've got to go down south now. It's winter. Yeah, exactly. My nerves just can't take it. Could be an actual condition, but like at the same time, I feel like I'm very sensitive to the cold in general. That's fair. Yeah. That's all the questions I had. Good. Good. Okay, sir. Is there anything else we can see down here? Ooh, there's some paintings, some portraits. This looks like. It's a scary basement. A way I feel like I'm not gonna like this later. I don't know. I like how both these guys just like chill down here. Like, yeah. Why? There are a lot of characters in this game. Yeah. Guadalupe? Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. Well, who are you? I'm Elsa's replacement. Oh, the new maid. Thank oh, wow. goodness. Thanks. I was wondering how much longer the owner expected us to so endure these here. conditions and still pay. <laughs> also, so what are her names? They're, very, they're like toughs. Like, she definitely just, like, cut her own bangs, like, had, like, a one <laughs> yeah. that was like, oh, I'm gonna cut some bangs. Well, no, she also has a mullet. Yes, she does. She, she was just like, I'm gonna do this, and oh, yeah, looks good. It's a look. It is. It is kind of looks like she hacked them, though. Like, yes. hacked them off. Yes, like, she wasn't actually using scissors. She was using, like... Like, nail clippers. Yeah, like, yeah, something that is not designed to A them. knife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> really desperate to get some bangs today. <laughs> How long has Elsa been gone? Two days, I think. Her voice Maybe even sooner. three. Yeah. I don't know. It's all a blur of dirt and dust and soap residue. Okay. My name is Guadalupe Comillo. My friends call me Lupe. Lupe. My name is Lupe. Nancy She's Drew. A little Lupe. Be a dog. <laughs> Be a little Lupe. <laughs> It'll hardly take you any time at all, especially compared to the other rooms. The other guests are all men. Single men. Well, I'm happy okay. to report that I've already cleaned your room. Excellent. I no, hate to sound to nosy, no. but <laughs> what are you doing? Birds. I'm oh, watching birds. Uh, that's birds. what I am, I you like see, a bird watcher. Bird sometimes I go outside and watch, and uh, sometimes I stay inside. It all depends on what the birds feel like doing and what I feel like doing. Sure. So that's what brought you to Icicle Creek Lodge, the birding? Wow. Absolutely. The place is a veritable birding paradise, even in winter. In fact, in the short time I've been here, I've seen hawks, eagles, orioles, cardinals, uh, jays, yeah. nothing truly rare. But to a wildlife lover such as myself, seeing them in such a spectacular setting is For thrilling sure. nonetheless. Yeah. Have you met the other guests? Yeah. I've bumped looking into them at, at them one time or another. Yes, yeah. I don't spend all <laughs> see, my time in front of But no one don't though. see through ice. That young it's fellow, true. he's very talented that. but extremely She's intense. Like, His whole yeah. life revolves around being the best in the world. <laughs> it's like you guys good five, five seconds. Always part. sitting across the way yeah. playing that <laughs> silly game. The older man, Bill so Kessler. He's no deep thinker, but he's nice oh, enough. But the other one, that college student. Talking to him is like trying to converse with a giant turnip. No social graces whatsoever. I almost prefer talking to the handyman. Almost. Anyone that intent on destroying something as glorious as that wolf is hardly worth talking to. Okay, so she really doesn't like anybody. No. Doesn't harm to anybody and no. likes to call people turnips. Yeah. So I'll right, let you go. Girl. Bye. Farewell. So Farewell. Oh, we can make lunch now. Farewell. I'll be the good night.
Two in the kitchen, that's the kitchen part. Oh, thanks. Cool. So each meal is something different, of course. I love this. This is quesadillas, and we have our cooking guide. Avoid overcooking anything on the grill or in a frying pan. Fire! The result. <laughs> oh, jeez, you startled me. Sorry. Those pickles look, like, really sad. So we're not doing breakfast, we're getting lunch. Guests may order hamburgers and or quesadillas. Yeah, you can have a hamburger and a quesadilla. <laughs> wow! That's a lot, but that's fine. Cook hamburger patties on the griddle and remove them from the griddle when they are dark brown to ensure that they've been thoroughly cooked. Put the ha cooked hamburger patty on the bun first, then add any extra ingredients. When making quesadilla, the tortilla into which cheese has already been folded into a frying pan, never on the griddle. Remove the quesadilla from the pan when it has been lightly browned. Okay, so our first order is one, one quesadilla. quesadilla. Easy. So this goes here. That's it? That's um, all we do? The cheese is already in there? Yep. Yeah. Uh, one quesadilla. One hamburger. <laughs> So I'll start. Oh, is this done? Yeah. No, no. Oh, oh can't get that one. Sorry. Oh. This is already off to a There's bad one start. quesadilla. There's um, one quesadilla. Okay, so we need one hamburger. So I'll start cooking that. Okay, what's this one? One hamburger. So let's cook two hamburgers. I like to multitask too many things. Yeah, I, I, I like to. I really like to multitask, but we're gonna. Yeah, we're actually pretty good at cooking games. Yes, we um, play a lot of cooking games. We do. Time. Okay, so that one had cheese on it. I know that. Okay. Okay. So we got two. Okay. So that's the first one. Two cheese, one lettuce, one here. Okay. Two cheese, one lettuce, one pickle. One lettuce. One pickle. Okay. One tomato, one mustard. And ding, 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 your lunch is served, my friend. Do I have to serve them all before I can, I guess? I guess, yeah. Um, um, so one cheese, two lettuce, two pickle. One cheese, two lettuce. First, and after my own first, two oh, pickles. Yeah. Two pickles. Um, one tomato, two onion, one mustard, one ketchup. One tomato, two, two onion, onion, and then one of mustard and one of ketchup. Yeah. Pretty, that's a pretty classic burger. Yeah, it's funny you have like one tomato and it pulls out two at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one hamburger. Is the next one a hamburger as well? No, it's one quesadilla. Okay, so we do that. And that one's one other hamburger. So we'll go. Quesadillas are done really quickly though. So this one was a quesadilla. Yeah, exactly. That one's one cheese, one lettuce. This one goes one. Oh, there we go. So that one's one cheese, one lettuce. That two cheeses, but, and then just ketchup. Oh, that's pretty basic. That's like a kid. Um, and that one is two cheese, one lettuce, two pickles. Two cheese, one lettuce, two pickles. And then it is uh, one mustard, one tomato. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. right, okay. One tomato, which is really two tomatoes, one and then mustard. Oh, you can add paprika. Fun. For some spice. Okay. What do I do? Does it does it keep going? Oh my god. No. Oh. oh. Order up. Order up. Order up. Okay. Well, we Order up. Now. Order up. I was about to back out. Can you imagine if I did that? <laughs> done. We're done. That was actually really quick. We did that in less than 20 minutes of the game. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I feel like we're going to get this down to like nothing too. Oh yeah. We're going to be speedy cooking demons. Yep. Okay. okay. Let's check the temperature gauge. Caution. So is that caution? That's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So she auto puts the jacket and boots. Still oh, in so the pants. Still in the pants. Still in the pants. Yeah. Oh, that's where you have to fight Freddy. So first let's go. Okay. We have to do the skating pond. So let's do that. Wait, I forgot this is how we get places. Very slow. The snow isn't even that like high. This is like any given day yeah. in Canada winter. Okay. Guess yeah. I better get this Not pond right, shoveled off. Okay. Great. So we have a shovel. So that means there's no there's no bad around it. No bad. 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 Oh, one bad. One bad. Okay. So let's continue. It could be that one. Well, it has to be directly beside it. So around it like this, yeah. one of them will be bad. Yeah. So this one won't, but we don't know yet. Okay. It even kind of looks thin if you look at it. That's right? true. Yeah. So let's keep going down this way for now. Ooh. 
So one bad one. So this is probably this will be the one bad. So so okay. one bad for that will be that. One bad for that will be that. One bad for that will be that. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that wouldn't this one be two bads? Because it's touching this one and this one. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That would two, two bads. That What's considered bad bad? Is that a seven basically? Yeah, well that means every single tile surrounding it will be bad. So where how do, where do we well we have to put down twenty two pylons? Yes. I feel like I just know that and you're like here's twenty two, there's gonna be twenty two spots. For a while I like was really good at this, but now I'm like starting to forget the strategy of it. Oh really? Yeah. <gasps> oh, okay, I found a crack. Let's just put we have, there's, we're allowed to get a certain number of cracks. Oh, we are? Oh, you know what? Now I remember how it works. So when we see this, it means there's gonna be one broken space. Each of these are touching one broken space. Oh. So this middle one is the broken space. And that means it's two ways, so one, two, right? I wonder if that one's there. So that could be, uh, that means it's touching two broken spaces. So here, this broken space was that one. Right. So that's fine. Is it? Um, is it the same? Oh, oh shoot! I just got another one. How many do we get? Uh, I don't know how many we can find before we endanger our lives. But I mean, at least we're learning the strategy now. Yeah. And is it the same every time? Like, if we die, can we just do the same? So I think this one's probably the bad one. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be the same every time. Okay, I feel like, the, oh, I was gonna say very like confidently that the, the border is probably fine and then we found that one. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 so I'm gonna say the middle of this one will be one. Yeah, you're right. And then. Oh! oh my god, this would be such an annoying skating horn. Yeah, you can't really do much speed skating like what they want to do when yeah. literally... Okay, so this one will be the middle of this. Oh, we've got a three and a two. Interesting. So I think... Oh! So there's maybe a here. couple in this area. Yeah. So these are touching one, so I'm going to say maybe one is here. Okay. Check and see. Oh, oh yeah, because this one's touching two. So this one's touching this one, and it's touching this one. Mm -hmm. These ones are touching one. Um, there's, These are this, gonna this one's going to be fine because this one says there's nothing around it. Uh, so that one's automatically fine. That one's automatically fine. This one's automatically fine. So it's I'm these ones you got to worry about. <laughs> yeah, it's probably... And this one only has is, are, are only touching one. So these ones are okay. You're very good at this. So I'm gonna say like all of those. So this one's touching two, so it's gonna be touching this one, and it's gonna be touching maybe right in the middle. Maybe right in the middle. So let's try yeah. here. No. So maybe there's more than that. Maybe there's that whole strip. Yes, but Girl, I'm okay now. I'm I just got a little strategy wet and cold. I got really spot. cold. Eh. My lips turned this really interesting, interesting shade of violet. Better. Both of you. Both of you. I'm just telling my trust in both of you. I'm just saying. I got you. I know. Fine. I'll be more careful Whatever. next time. And I'm learning as I go, you know? I'd like yeah. to believe that, Nancy, but I just can't afford to. I'm in enough trouble with my insurance. Girl, you know what's more oh, annoying? Hey. Like another mother than falling through an ice pond, but listening to this spiel, okay? Oh, no second chance. I better get this pond shoveled off. There's no books. So let's see. I wonder if it is the same as last time. That's annoying if it is, and they just have to start over and do the whole thing over again. It is the same. Okay. Roughly. Yeah. Roughly. yeah. Oh, there's a, a coldness meter, too. Wow, I wonder if it's like red, it's like immediately. Like, it's like super fast. Look at you. I'm a I'm like pretty confident that it was that little strip. That yeah, it might be everything. So let's just do everything this time to be. They might give you more pylons than you actually need. They might. So in that case, 
I mean, we've already done half the pond at this point, so. Yeah. I'll just do this for now. We know this one is one, too. Yeah. Might as well. Cause we like, can take them back, can't we? How dark are these? These are two? Yeah. Because, like, I mean, if this one's touching two, it's touching this one. Let's just do that for now. Yeah. If we need to use pylon somewhere else, then we'll experiment more. Yeah. And plus, at this point, too, we know where a lot of them are. So we can fail a little bit more. Yes. So we know this is beside nothing. So we know all these will not be broken ice holes. Yeah. So you know what? There's gonna be another one there. Yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah. But that one, the ultraviolet one, is that a four or is that a five? I can't really see. Oh, well, that might be a four or a five. I think it's a four. Five is like purple. Which is so weird, because like then it then six is harder to find. Like is this six? You know what? I've only played this on junior, that's why I'm getting too excited and I just do a lot. But I've literally only oh. played this on. This is getting harder. This side is definitely harder. Yes. We only do this the one time, right? Oh crap. Oh god. So that I feel like there's gonna be one there for sure. This is where this gets a lot harder. It's an actual puzzle now, actually. So this one's touching one. So I'm, I want to put one there because so this one's touching two. And I feel like this one has to be and there. And this one has to be. This one, I want to say maybe it's, let's just try it. Okay. 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 <laughs> scaring me. I want to put one here. Yeah, because those like purpley ones are, are, t are touching four or five, right? So Yeah. Who wants to skate on this? No, I know, it's ridiculous. This one's touching two, so it's touching this one and it's touching this one. Is it, is it, you sure that it's diagonal? Yeah. Okay. Oh, but this one's a four, so it's, that one's one, two, three. It could be, it could be any, any of those. Any of those. So let's see, this one's only touching one though. True. So there might be one here. Okay. Oh, but it could be diagonal, so it could be the one there. Oh, no. This one's touching two, it would be touching this one, it would be touching this one. This one's only touching one, so it can't be this one. Okay. So let's... Okay. <sighs> um, that's three, so that's touching one, two, three, so that's, that's accurate. Too much. This is touching nothing, so there can't be one here. Okay. Um, this I love one, how confident she is. I'm, like, scared. <laughs> this one's touching one, which it is. I feel like there's one here. Okay. I feel like this one's okay. Okay. Um, there aren't many spaces left. We got this. This one is touching two. It's touching this one, and it's touching this one. So let's say. How many cracks can we have before? I think last time we had like maybe three or four. Okay. Hopefully it's four. No, it's um, a two. <laughs> I think I'm getting it now, though. So okay. the light blue is. This one's two, right? No, this one's three. So it's yep. touching this one. It's touching this one, and it has to be touching one more. So we're gonna put one here. Okay. This one's touching one, which it is. And this, this one's, one's touching, touching four, two, so it's touching is this one, and it's these. touching this one. Okay, so I think this is a... This one's touching four, which it yeah. already is. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Every time you do it, I'm like... <laughs> this one's touching two, so it's touching this one, and it's touching this one. Uh, this one's touching one, which it already is, so this... <gasps> okay. Um, this one is touching... Is this a three? Yes. So three is touching one, is touching two, is touching three. This one's touching. Okay, so I think this is okay. Yep. Okay. Um, here we're touching two, so we're touching one. We're touching another one. This one's touching. No, this one's touching three. 
I feel like there might be one at the top, like here. And I feel like one maybe there because these ones, so this one's one and this one's to not touching touch another one. one. So let's say, so this one's touching two, which it is. Oh. No! Oh! We, were so, we were so close. So it was diagonal for that one. Guess I better get this pawn shoveled off. These, the, these are all touching one, which they are, touching one, which they are, touching one, which they are. So I feel like those are in the right position. This one's only touching one. That could be like a here or a there, I but know. then we're not fulfilling these yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you want to just try here and see? Yep. Whoa! This is so hard. I guess I better get this pawn shoveled Crap. off. Okay. here. <gasps> that ought to do it. Wait yes! And your tongue is blue. <laughs> Those look like wolf tracks. Maybe I should find out where they go. Wolf tracks? Oh, Nancy yeah. just starts following the wolf tracks. Wow, what a thrill. <laughs> took us a long time to I get did. the point of that puzzle, but once we did, I was very satisfied was to do so it. It was so satisfying. Like, oh. That must be Trapper Dan's oh, needle. Fun. What's Priority. this doing here? Strange. It's halfway in and halfway out. This thing must open up somehow. And that's it for today. If you enjoy, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We post every Monday, so the next part will be out soon. Hope to see you then. Boozy Broads out.